from year one, Johnny, in 2012 to now. My game day looks pretty similar going into year 10. I like to keep some of my traditions the exact same. Get to the stadium early, kind of just keep things light. I'm never too serious. Oh yeah, day one, day one. Some people will learn about me is that, you know, I like to have fun, stay loose with it. I'm not someone that takes things hyper seriously, but when it's time to be about business, I'm, I'm about it. Get to the field, get my stretches in, and then just kind of build my progression from there. Get some ball catches and molds, make sure my hands are working well drops to taps to angular kicks and then opening it up to the returners. So it's like a steady progression of building the whole punt mechanics piece by piece that's really helped me stay consistent. Something that's kind of stuck with me, some vets that I've been around just saying, hey, like let's let's get some mental reps. Let's walk the field, not even have a ball and just envision and move your body as if you're hitting a ball but don't have one with you and just see it coming out of your hands, off your foot, going right where you want it and envisioning the perfect punt for that situation and then really just carrying that in your mind with confidence that I can pull this off. When we get done warming up every game day, we come into the locker room and I call my parents and we have a prayer. So that's been something that's been a great tradition of mine in the college as well, calling my parents and praying over me. So my dad always prays for his calm nerves and a smooth operation. That's something that, you know, on game day, I think that on the sideline, calm nerves, smooth operation. One of the difficult parts of my game day routine is just staying ready on third downs. You know, no matter where you're at on the field, you have to stay ready for a punt. So my routine is having situational awareness, knowing where we are on the field, what kind of punt I want to hit, you know, for that area of the field, and then just um, having complete trust that when I take the field, I'm going to go execute how I've done it in my mind, getting some mental reps, visualizing the success on the sideline before I take the field and just doing my best to stay positive, stay in that frame of mind that once the ball comes to me in a team setting, it's something that I know what to do when I'm called upon and just have to rely on that training and you know, help me feel like my technique's repeatable on game day.